Someone told me many years ago, better over the hill than under the hill. And therefore I think, even when we feel we're over that hill, even when we're facing the most difficult time, we have to say, I'm here. And that's better than the alternative. What do we teach young kids? Please, thank you, and I'm sorry. Those expressions have to be part of their vocabulary. And I think as we get older, they're just as important. So Mincha says, time to say thank you. Time to say thank you what you have. It's very easy to find fault with what you don't have, but to be able to look around at the bigger picture. I really thank you. Years ago, I recall a hearing of a woman who had two teeth, and she was very grateful. Why? Because the two teeth were opposite each other. She said, at least I can chew. Now, just imagine, here you are without anything else, but you're thankful for those two teeth. So I often think of her when life is difficult. If she could say thank you for that, I can say thank you for what I have. Thank you, baby. Don't just look at the stain on the tide. Look at the entire tide. Don't just look at the hole in the ceiling or the missing tile. Look at the entire ceiling and you realize, in spite of it all, I have much for which to say thank you. Baby.